so-called blacks, Hispanics, and the Native Americans who are attending World Overcomers Outreach Church. Come to show you that Pastor Alton Williams is a liar. Did you know that? You're not supposed to go to church on Sunday? If we got it wrong, y'all get, 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 get a pastor out here. Tell Pastor Al, Al, what his name, Alton Williams, we outside. Tell the Israelites outside and we want answers. We want answers right now. His elders here. He probably somewhere on the jet while y'all finna uh, going home and y'all little Nissans and stuff. Read what you got. Give me some. Yeah, read that. We are not a hate group. We are non-affiliated. We are not affiliated with any other Israelite groups. Israel United Christ is a non-Bible based uh, based movement. We do not advocate or condone any acts of violence against any race, ethnicity. Gender, we advise that if anyone heareth or knows of any plots to cause harm to anyone or to break the laws of the land, you must contact the proper authorities tied to bring it all awareness to any possible threat as it stands in Leviticus 5 and 1. All right, so we are here to teach the gospel of Jesus Christ. You believe in Jesus, sis? You believe in Jesus? All right, do you know who Jesus is? You know who Jesus is coming back to save? Give me Luke chapter 1 and verse 6 to 8. If you don't know that you are Israelite, Christ is not going to come back and save you, sir. Right. I'm going to show y'all that in the Bible. Y'all just went in there and listened to a whole bunch of jumping around and a, a feel-good speech. You see what I'm saying? So we are here to tell y'all what the truth is according to God. And this is what God said. We read out the New Testament out of the book of Luke. Listen. Luke chapter 1 and verse 68. Uh -huh. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. The Bible says, says you want to bring your son over here to hear the truth. All right, you coming out of the world overcomers, you just let you just you just put him on a pathway to gangs and destruction or homosexuality, one of the three, or death. All right, you want to bring your son and listen to the real man of God because we're standing up for you. We're gonna teach him how to be a man, we're gonna teach him how to marry the black woman before he lay down and marry her, uh, uh, lay down with and have sex with her. He gotta marry her. That's what we're gonna teach him. We don't know what Pastor Alton Williams in there teaching him. All right. But we're going to teach him what God said. What the Bible say? Right. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. It says, blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Who is Israel? The Israelites. Did, did the church teach you that you were the Israelites, sis? That you God chosen people, that you a real Jew? Nope. That you not a, 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 a no African or no African American? Yeah. We are the people of the Bible, man. This ain't no game what we're doing. We want y'all to wake up and come out of these Christian churches. These Christian churches have lied to the black community for far too long. Y'all don't shook and jive for far too long. Y'all don't sung, y'all dance and did your little Holy Ghost step for far too long. Now you got real men coming to the neighborhood and we tell them we want the Christian pastor, the minister, the, the bishop, the deacon, somebody need to come out right now and tell us how we need to be saved. We want to know, you got black men want to be saved, y'all coming out to church and y'all won't even stop. Because y'all scared. We blessed be the Lord God of Israel. For he have visited and redeemed his people. Because the Lord have visited and redeemed us. Christ is coming back to save us. We got a message of Jesus Christ. We. And have raised up an horn of salvation for us. In the house of his servant David. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets. Which have been since the world began. That we should be saved. Right, that we should be saved. That we should be saved. Right. 
A lot of y'all in this Christian church thinking y'all gonna be saved. Y'all ain't gonna be saved when that time come. Y'all, a lot of y'all think y'all already saved. It ain't even nothing happened yet. We, that we should be saved from our enemies. That we should be saved from our enemies. Who are our enemies? The enemies of God. The so-called white man. The so-called Arab man. The so-called Chinese man. The Japanese man. The Africans. All right? It's time for us to, uh, uh, to wake up to the true knowledge of God. Can y'all tell us how to be saved coming out the church? Is the pastor teaching y'all anything? This is supposed to be a Christian academy. This is supposed to be where y'all supposed to be learning about God. It's great God. Give me Luke chapter 14. Tell them for us to wake up and come out of these big churches that's doing nothing for the community. But teaching, raising more gangbangers, whores, and prostitutes. Bring it out. Read. Luke chapter 14 and verse 23. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges. So that's what we had on the highways and we at the hedges right now of your church. Talking about I Rise Christian Academy. That's a damn lie. That's our fall, Christian Academy. Y'all ain't rising. Don't y'all see the black community? Don't y'all see the neighborhoods around this big ass church? Don't y'all see the neighborhoods? It's time for us to wake up. Come on. And the Lord said unto the servant, go out into the highways and hedges. So y'all wonder why, these, why we out here because God told us to come out here. The Most High told us to do what? Go out into the highways and hedges and, do what? and compel them. And do what? And compel them. So we're trying to compel you. We're trying to we trying to convince you. We're trying to we trying to warn you. We're trying to tell you that you need to come out of these Christian churches, sister, brother. Time for us to wake up. Come on. And compel them to come in. And compel them to come in. If y'all think that's uh, if y'all think anything different, feel free to get out the car and contend for the faith. raising more whores and prostitutes and gangbangers and drug dealers. Give me Jeremiah chapter 23. We want Pastor Alton Williams or whatever his name, Al Shopper, whatever his name. We want him out here right now. Now we need the closest minister, the biggest man to come out and talk to us right now. We on this side, we on this side. So tell him we outside. Listen. Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 1. Who be unto the pastors they destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastor. So the Bible says, woe means destruction to pass her out. Woe to pass her out. Destruction coming to the world overcomers church. Destruction coming to y'all and y'all continue to come to this church, man. It's time for y'all to wake up and spread this throughout our Facebook. Spread it throughout your YouTube channel. Call Pastor out and tell him we outside. And the Bible said, what? Woe. Woe means destruction. Come on. Woo! Be unto the pastor! And be unto our Williamson. Come on! They destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastor! And that's what he's doing. He's destroying you. Y'all ain't woke up yet and realize there's a church on every corner. But gangs in the community. The black man is not marrying a black woman because of these churches. No, they don't want it. They want to feel good, man. They just come out of the crack house. They already high right now. They don't want to hear the word of God. They don't care nothing about the word of God because we not singing and dancing. They don't want to hear us. But we're trying to get the black man to marry your daughter. We're trying to get the black man to take care of his kids. And we tired of these churches in our community that's not doing what God says. That's what God is mad at us. And that's why we dying in the street. Talking about she don't want no flyer. We tired of this. Sister, you better than who you are, who you think you are. When you look in the mirror every morning, yes, sir. you are God's chosen people. You are precious on this earth. They're not going to tell you or your children that are in that church. They're going to give y'all a good shuffling job. But God raised the kings on this earth, and we're going to take care of our wives, and we're going to take care of our kids, we're going to take care of our community. That's what we're about. These Christian churches have been lying to us. That's why we out here. Ain't no such thing as no Santa Claus. 
Ain't no such thing as no Easter bunny. Right. Ain't no such thing as all of that, that garbage they teaching us in the church. And we mad when we come out here to tell the people that what? We must yeah. repent or we gon' die. Read what you got. Oh, he went to the pastors that, that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastor. And this is what these Christian pastors are doing. They destroying you and your children. Ain't you tired of being destroyed? Ain't you tired of being destroyed? You are beautiful, sister. You don't have to put pink and blonde hair on your head. Let your hair grow natural, and you're going to see how beautiful you are. You don't have to put on fake eyelashes to be beautiful. We're going to tell you right now you're beautiful. When you get up in the morning, you should see beauty. You shouldn't have to put on no damn costume to come outside. The Christian church is teaching the black woman to put on costume to look good. When God said that you look good already, he's the author of your beauty. But they ain't teaching y'all that in the church. And this is why we got whores in the church. This is why we got whore mongers in the church. Because ain't nobody teaching the pastor or uh, teaching the congregation number how to shuck and jive and dance. What the Bible say? Woo! Be unto the pastor! The Bible said destruction to our wills. Come on. They destroy because he's destroying the black community. And scatter the sheep. He's just scattering the lost sheep of Israel right here in Memphis, Tennessee. And God gonna judge him. Come on. Of my pastor. Of my pastor. Of God's pastor. We are the lost sheep of the children of Israel. God is calling you back into the sheepfold. But if you don't want to come into the sheepfold, you can die with uh, Pastor Al. Please. Say of the Lord. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God of Israel. Now God finna warn you. He said, therefore, said the Lord God of Israel. He didn't say the Lord God of America. Y'all got a damn idol right here in front of your church. A damn white woman or whatever that is holding the damn cross with the Ten Commandments in his hand. Man, we get our spiritual power, we gonna tear that down. I'm telling y'all right now, it's going down. Come on. Therefore, saith the Lord God of Israel against the pastors that feed my people. And they feed your people lies. We got a lie right here in front of the church and God come over every Sunday and pass the damn idol. A damn lot. Come on. And driven them away. And he had driven y'all away. That's why y'all won't pull up right now. Because he had driven y'all so far away, y'all don't know the truth when you're here. Come on. And have not visited them. And have not visited them. It's time for our people to wake up, man. Time for y'all to come out to Christian church, man. The church is lying to us. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.